Hello everyone, welcome to Bits and Bytes. Today I'll show you my Manjaro KD desktop, and I have just uh, you know installed this one and configured a little bit, uh, but not fully. I'm yet to configure everything. So I'll be using Manjaro Linux uh, now onwards. I mean, I hardly use uh, Windows now. I mean, for playing games and everything. I primarily use Linux as of now. So this is the Manjaro 21.3.1 and I am running 5.17 kernel. Here you can see this is the Manjaro system settings and here I have 5.17 you know, kernel installed. I have also 5.15 and 10 LPS version installed but uh, currently this is the version of kernel I am running there are available version like 5.18 and 19 this is a pre-release version yet not released properly you can see this is the experimental one so yeah uh, this is a very good operating system open source Linux version if you know something about Linux then you want you can I mean you know that uh, Manjari is a well reputed uh, desktop version. So, yeah. So, Manjari comes with uh, Dolphin uh, you know, file manager. This is a very good uh, and a simple file manager. I like it. And uh, this is the Manjaro terminal. It's called console. I mean, actually, it's a KDE terminal. Uh, console K O N. Okay console and uh, you can customize it i customize it later uh, but by default it comes in this way you can split the windows like uh, split view uh, this way you can get multiple split top down this way so both will uh, you know act as a separate terminals like uh, Sorry. This is like uh, this. Uh, all will uh, you know act as a separate terminal. You can work uh, and you can distribute your workloads on different terminals, and it it's helpful when you work on command line. Also, uh, Manjaro by default use JDSS, JDSH, sorry, JDSH, uh, you know, shell. It, it doesn't use uh, bash by default. Here you can see on the top JDSH shell. Here you can add new tab. So all new tabs will go over there. This is my early tab. This is the new tab if you want. This is also, I mean, JSH shell. If you want, you can change that with bash, and you come to bash shell as usual. Another version of uh, you know terminal is there that is called what is that? You Yakua. I, I'm sorry if I could uh, you know mispronounce that. So. This is like a you know quick quick uh, version of console. I mean you can uh, launch it with F12 and hide it with F12, and you can uh, you know launch any command like I. So this is very handy when you want to run some quick uh, commands, uh, but uh, you have to you know run the program first and then you can launch it or you can uh, add this uh, program in this startup so that you can start in the uh, during the startup and here you have the package manager that is called add and remote software this is the graphical user interface of the package manager manjar is based on you know arch linux so you can get the pacman so it's Batman. 
Pacman is a by default of package default package manager of Arch based uh, you know Linux. You can uh, install different packages from uh, repository. You can query what packages are installed. You can update. You can do anything with all these packages. But this is the graphical user interface of that package manager. You can browse any any kind of uh, you know from any categories like say music and audio. You can install the your choice of these softwares from here. Uh, all these are open source softwares, you know. And from here you can see all your installed software, whatever you have already installed. Here you can get uh, if any software is due for update or not. So my system is currently updated, so I don't have anything to update. Okay. So yeah, uh, this is enough. And along with the Manjaro, you can, you will get uh, you know some default applications like uh, Kate. This is a KD note notepad kind of application. You can take your notes and anything. You have KCal. These all are KD applications. Uh, this is a calculator. You can have you know separate graphic utilities like Jim. I think Jim comes by default, and the office. Uh, LibreOffice comes by default. I think. Yeah, LibreOffice is uh, quite uh, similar, not similar, but uh, quite capable like, of like you know Microsoft Office. So yeah, uh, this is my uh, you know primary desktop as of now. I use it. I'll uh, inform you what are the uh, problem I face and what you you can also try this one i mean as of now i am running manjaro for quite few months now and i i am satisfied with it i can do all of my primary works like you know whatever i i do I mean, for learning anything for you know video editing or for uh, image editing anything i i i can do that except the linux linux is not yet um, sorry except the gaming gaming is not yet that much and up to the mark but uh, you know it's uh, getting improved so yeah i mean i'll keep you posted if anything i face any problem any any solution of the problems I'll keep you updated. Thank you everyone. Bye bye. Have a nice day.